Welcome. Welcome to the Crimson Circle and our Shoud 9. We're here at the Villa Amio on Hawaii and proud to be here presenting this with you. This is Shoud 9. This is the, the May Shoud. And again, as Linda said, we're here at Villa Amio. It's a beautiful day. Uh, most days here are. It's just a beautiful day. We're out in the pool area. We decided it would be a great place to shoot out in nature. And maybe you can even hear the birds singing. And uh, Belle, the Villa Amio dog, is laying somewhere, taking a nap close just, by. Just right over to the side there, Jeff. Yeah. Laying out, crashed out, relaxing. So, as you all know, um, we are living in very interesting and unusual times. That's an understatement. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we were supposed to be back in Colorado doing this, but we decided to stay for a while at Villa Amio. No sense in rushing back, especially since it's snowing there. Well, and, and they canceled our flights twice, and it's like, maybe that's a message <laughs> a from message the universe. that we should just stay where we mm -hmm, are, but mm -hmm. we want to welcome each and every one of you to this very special shout. Uh, I know there's people listening in from all around the world, and I know a lot of you might be going just a little bit crazy with all the staying at home, uh, but on the other hand, you know, what a great time to really have some personal reflection. So absolutely delight to be here with you all. Uh, we, I heard that's true unless you have four small kids and you're homeschooling. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're doing a, a little bit different film production here today. Usually we're in the studio or sometimes in the pavilion here in Kona. But today we're outside. Uh, we've got a different production team, only one camera. Uh, we've got uh, Horace Denou. Michelle Denou and Moisha Groger handling all the production for us here today. Back in the studio in Colorado, we have Villa Guire doing the translation into Spanish, Cesar Cortez handling customer service, Peter Orlando doing all the technical work, and Gene Tinder with the content and assisting Peter. So thanks to everybody. This is a, a little bit different. And I think when we look back in history, we'll look back on this channel as being one, it wasn't in the studio. It wasn't all the fancy production. It's just, it's just us and a small production. I team. like the novelty of it. I, I'm okay with that. And the truth is, technology's come so far. It's amazing what you can do, even in in this slightly different situation. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, you can literally shoot with like a small camera or an iPhone, which is kind of what we're doing here today. And it's a beaut, truly, truly beautiful environment. And I think yeah. the energy of that comes through. Absolutely. So uh, we're going to get on and talk about, um, well, first of all, about the last uh, Shoud that we did and was here from Villa Amio. It was right. Shoud 8 of the Passion 2020 series. And, uh, of course, uh, as most of you know, everything is just getting very intense lately. And this was a shout that had a lot of intensity to it. You know, Jeff, I don't know if you were aware of it as the channeler, but everything you've been channeling the last month or so has been incredible intensity. It's, well, I'd say the last six months, year, maybe even 20 years has been intense. But, but uh, no, every, particularly the last month and a half. Oh, it's been pretty intense. Yeah. Pretty intense. Yeah. So. Right now, we're going to take a look at last month, the Shoud 8 of the Passion 2020 series. We always put together the recaps to help me remember what we did and to help all of you remember. Are you ready? Sure, let's go. Good, let's take a look at Shoud 8, Passion 2020. I am that I am. Adamus of St. Germain. My dear friends, this should all be familiar. Everything that's going on right now, it should be familiar. We've been, you could say, practicing or rehearsing for it for a long, long time. Uh, maybe we didn't know all the specifics, the exact details, because they don't really matter. But we've been waiting for this time on Earth ever since you came here, ever since even before your first incarnation. What's really happening right now? Well, we've talked about it a lot recently in Journey of the Angels, Ancestral Freedom, some of the messages that we put out to Chambra. It's all happening right now. But basically, the Order of the Ark proclaimed that they were closing shop. No need for the Order of the Ark. It was the assembly of all the angelic families. 
trying to find a resolution to something, the impasse of energy in all of creation. That's it. That's the big picture. It was a, a kind of an amazing creation, this place of earth, time and space, density like you've never had before, a lack of freedom, but yet also the beauty of earth, the beauty of nature, the beauty of learning. Going deep, deep, deep into your creation like no other beings ever had before. So you came to this planet Earth to find that connection between uh, consciousness and energy. Find the real reasons why energy was slowing down. The answer, energy responds to consciousness. And the energy is yours and it serves you. We're done. We're done. That's it. So the Order of the Ark began closing up shop, packing their bags, throwing out the trash, of course, and then going back to the angelic families, reporting back to them, it's done. It's been discovered, even though by just a few on the planet, but it's done. It's the answer. And then they told the angelic families, it's time to disband. There's no need for the grouping of angels like we've had it before. Not, not at all. So today, when the first time zones on this planet started experiencing April 4th, 2020, the message began to go out to all the spiritual families. They've been sitting in this message ever since we hit on this date, and they'll continue, and the message will continue to be sounded or sung in a way to all the angelic families, to all the individual angelic beings, saying it's time to disband. You came here as representatives of your angelic families. Most of you at the very, very time when this planet Earth was first created and formed, you, you're the old timers here. You came here and you've had many, many lifetimes on this planet, but many more than others. You're the ones that have uncovered this very simple but very profound thing that energy responds to consciousness. Up, up, up until right now, they weren't part of the same, but they work together. And that energy is yours and it serves you. You and others chamber around the planet help to realize that. That's what caused the Order of the Ark and this and the angelic families now to disband. So thank you for your service. You did what you came here to do on this planet. It's done. It's done. What next? Well, you stay here, I hope, as masters. You stay here to be the example for others. You stay here on this planet to now enjoy your life, damn it. <laughs> There's a lot of things we have to do, uh, want to do, together in the times to come. More than anything, I want you to enjoy the rest of your life. I want you to be the first pioneers to understand what it's like to have energy really serve you in magical ways. And there's a lot of work, a lot of fun work we're going to do together as true, realized masters on the planet. With that, let's have some music and let's join the angelic families on this historic day. Let's feel into all of this. Let's join them as they sit in council listening to this message. Listen carefully, dear friends. Listen deeply, not with your ears, not with your mind, but with your soul, listen. Your angelic families have been waiting for your return. You were their leader amongst their leaders, and you left. They've been waiting for your return ever since. 
Now you return, and this is your last time. Ever be in council to ever be with your angelic family the last time. Say goodbye, dear friends. Say goodbye now to the angelic family. As you, the leader, walk out now, saying your goodbyes, well, they have no choice but to disband. That's what they're doing. So now, for recent events, there are none. <laughs> As you know, with everything being shut down and people needing to stay, you know, to stay in their private spaces, we didn't have any live events. Everything was was canceled. Yeah, unfortunately, we did have to cancel a number of events here in Kona. It was heartbreaking, actually. It was, it was. Uh, some it really of the people was. were already here on the island, and we. Um, a lot we of people we were looking forward to seeing. And we just weren't able to do the uh, the events from here. Uh, so we don't have any photos to show. But what we did ask is Shambra to send in photos of them at home. What what are you doing here during the shutdown, which is really quite global. It's a so true recent event. Let's take a look at Shambra from around the world, what they were doing during the shutdown. And so we have some upcoming events, actually. But Ho hopefully, we do. There are some. Yeah, yeah, quick, yeah there uh, are some. Yeah, yeah. Well, we we've kind of changed a lot of things on the schedule, even for the summer. But we do have some things coming up, like the incredible Sexual Energy School Online. You know, it's it's 
always a delight to be able to share that with you. And we do it live, and so you can reach us from anywhere in the world. There are quite a few languages mm. even included in it. That's true. And, and I have to say that even Adam has contributed some things to it that just make it all that more relevant. The Sexual Energy School is May 29th through the 31st. It's online, so we're keeping our social distancing. It's all online. Uh, it's three days. It's one of the core Crimson Circle classes. And as Linda mentioned, uh, it's uh, such a, an amazing class. We offer it twice a year online. And this is one of the two times we do. The other time will be later in the year. Right. You'll have 10 days access to the video and 90 days access to the e-reader. And the thing I love about it, we're in the studio back in Colorado doing this, and you and I are there live with the attendees the entire time. Absolutely. Uh, we so feel you. We feel you. It's like, it's like we're all together. Uh, we go the full three days. There are some incredible channels with Tobias and Adamus basically talking about, well, the sexual energy virus. And it's interesting because... It's um, sexual energy virus is not a biological virus. It's a virus of energy. consciousness. Yeah. And, you know, since we're doing all this talking these days about viruses, uh, it, it's particularly interesting to see not just the virus, but the energy behind it. So, well, I always love the class because there's so much, to, you know, that's there to, for us to take care of ourselves and evolve ourselves, as well as um, our relationships with others and anyone. We'll also have Spanish translation uh, live from the studio the entire weekend. So if you haven't taken the Sexual Energy School or you're interested in taking it again, uh, if you've already taken it, you can uh, take it again for half price. But it's, uh, it's one of our favorites. And as many times, Linda, as we've done this live around the world and also hosted the live online, I still love it. I still learn something from it every time. Me too. Well, your perspective always, you know, is expanding. So we can say a lot about uh, the Sexual Energy School, but it's always best when it comes from Shambra, True. who have taken the class. Let's take a look at a brief testimonial that we have uh, from somebody who took the class and sent us an unsolicited letter about Sexual Energy School. Let's take a look at this. I waited more than four years before I felt the urge to take Crimson Circle's Sexual Energy School. I had heard countless comments about it, and I believe that I already knew what it was about. Now I know. The experience of this class was a big bang for me, unfolding in slow motion. It's not only a workshop, it's really a step-by-step -step initiation, meaning a transformation in which the initiate is reborn into a new role. I had already buried the hope that I would ever understand what is wrong with my sex life, but SES gives a key. How to touch without neediness. It helped me realize that touching as a means to fulfill a need is a symptom of the sexual energy virus. In SES, I learned about touch without agenda, where the only motivation is being inspired by the beauty of who I really am and my wonderful physical body creation. I learned what self-love means in a practical way. SES brings self-love to a physical level because we are humans after all. Through this class, life must change if I follow Tobias's suggestion of regular time with myself. The energy flow in the body changes and abused or ignored parts of the body come alive again. I'd like to lift the secret of this class a bit for others who are hesitating. It provides very practical and sensible coaching into a new life of self-love. It is so beautiful, this new art of caring for myself. Why did I wait so long? We're so grateful for that really really mm. incredible testimonial that she offered and what yeah. the what the class meant to her and she sent that on her own and it was really yeah. quite quite beautiful to see absolutely so that's coming up later this month the sexual energy school what then, else is summer whoa the june shout but it's a webcast only we once again not knowing where things are going and trying to be very very uh responsible, responsible. 
We will be doing it at the studio in Colorado, but there will be not there won't be an in studio audience. But we're excited and, about Linda, it. Linda, you're assuming we're going to be leaving uh, Hawaii and going back to Colorado. I, I'm determined that it's. I'm going to be happy, and if we accidentally get stuck here, oh, I'll figure out a way to make that work. We might just be doing the June Shout from here, same time, same place. Anyway, right now we're anticipating that we're going to be doing it back in Colorado at the Crimson Circle Connection Center, and that Saturday, June 6th. And again, no live audience. We're trying to just uh, respect the whole social distancing that's taking place. Uh, so. Then in July. I really like your joke. That was good. Which one? About maybe we will have to do it oh, from here. Oh, that, maybe that wasn't I'll work a, with that Maybe joke. that wasn't a joke. Well, uh, you know, again, there's so many unknowns right now. We're just trying to anticipate the potentials a little bit. Okay. And then July Shout. July Shout. That will also be at the Crimson Circle Connection Center. Yep. Online. But at this time, we are not planning for a live audience. If things shift and or things evolve into a way that would allow that in a responsible way then then we'll review and do that but at this time it's only online well as you know at the last minute but i'm kind of hoping that we'll be able to have an audience a live audience again i mean we always have an audience but uh this one's on july 4th and we actually looked at independence the day, day isn't said, that interesting should we actually change the date we said no independence day july 4th uh in the united states uh it's our july 4th celebration so we are going to be doing it on July 4th from the studio. Whether we're going to have a live audience determines how things go between now and then. I'm kind of hoping we'll be able to, kind of like independence from being locked indoors and uh, independence from just whole shutdown thing. Well, you know, with the shutdown thing, it forces people to be independent and sovereign. Oh, it does. It does. So, you know, I've got so anyway, that's in, in July. <laughs> in august for the show oh, so by then we're being very positive and clear we're going to do the august show and we will have our party so there will be people attending and we'll have, that'll be opened up for that so that's our annual summer party with the barbecue summer barbecue party afterwards that's august 1st from the crimson circle connection center shout 11. shout at no it's oh you're right it is shout no yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to argue because yeah. uh, I can't figure it out quick enough. Yeah. I think it's the first si new series. I think it's the first one in the new series because this is nine, nine in May, 10 in June, 11 July. Oh, I so, hate when you're right. Yeah, I was right. Um, and we're recording this, so uh, it's, it's on record. Uh, that is from the studio. It's the new series that starts up. And uh, hopefully, 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 we'll, we'll be able to do it in person and have the beer and barbecue afterwards. Has Adamus given you any clues? Oh, no, no, no. He, no, he always waits till the last minute. Okay. Yeah. And, and then uh, September, there is no shout. Uh, it's kind of typical now. We're usually in Europe, and we're going to be in Europe. Uh, we're, we have some great events coming up there, we which we'll tell we you do. about in just a minute. But no shout in September. So... Okay. That's the schedule for the summer, and in the autumn, as I mentioned, okay. we go to Europe. We've got a couple of great events. They have not been canceled. And we are so excited. We have the Channeling Workshop in Roost, Austria. By the way, all of these events sold out so fast yeah. that it's almost fun to get to talk. It's like we're just giving you the update, but, you know, the wait list, we, th there are movement on the wait list. So Channeling Workshop, September 2nd through the 6th in beautiful Roost, Austria. That's also um, harvest, wine harvest. It um, is. We love so Roost. We love that part of the, the Europe. Uh, the weather is always beautiful. beautiful. The restaurants are great. It's this little Reasonable. village. We don't need to talk about it too much because it's sold out. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then, but after that, so then we're going to do Energy Works in Saint-Marie de la Mar, France. In the Carmag. In the Carmag area. Yeah. Um, in soy country. You know, the I am country. Yeah. I'm excited about that. Well, Linda's one of Linda's favorite places to go is the El Campo restaurant and, and uh, bar in San Marie de la Mer. And uh, this is where the band Soy is, the flamenco music. We're going back there. This is sold out also. So we're not going to talk too much no, okay. about it. Okay, yeah, but yeah. And we know many, many of you are signed up to go to the Passion of the Merlin event in Bled, Slovenia, and that's September 12th and 13th and 14th now, because we've added an extra day with the uh, 
uh, the awakening. rude awakening uh, that is still on. Everything's still a go. We don't see any reason to um, not do it at this point. Uh, we have offered to those who've signed up already, if they want to cancel for whatever reason, they're a little nervous about traveling or uh, just the whole virus thing, we, we have we let them know it. that they can cancel and get a full refund. Uh, we've had a few cancellations, but not many. Right. Not many. I think everybody's looking forward to that. It's going to be like a great reunion getting back together. And the wait together. list was almost as long as the attending oh, list. the wait list was huge. So yeah. that is still on. If you plan to go, uh, we're still going to be doing it. We're looking forward to seeing so many of you masters Excited. in blood. Then in Autumn later... 2020. Autumn 2020, where are we going to be? Kona, here. We're going to be in Hawaii, and I'm excited about that, too, because bo both those events are very sold out. We're going to be back here in November for the Master Code. That's November 15th through the 19th, right here in at the Villa Amio in Kona. And then November 23rd through the 27th, it's Energy Works right here, and it does. And they're both sold out, uh, yep. so we won't carry on too much about that. So... That's it for events. Let's take a deep breath as we go into Chambra News. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we got a fair amount of news this time. Do we? Yeah, as always, uh, we suggest you read the Chambra magazine. It's the e-magazine we send out every month just before the Shoud. Uh, it's the award-winning Chambra magazine. Oh, and it's based on Adamus' theme, You're Never Alone. Yes, it is. So uh, uh, anyway, we uh, if you want to find the latest news and information and really great articles, uh, every month we get guest articles from Shamber around the world that are insightful, inspiring, uh, and it's just a great magazine to read. We've been doing the Shamber magazine now, I think, for over 15 years. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, and it's grown in size, and it's grown in, in its popularity. If you're not getting it, it means you're not on the mailing list. So just sign up on the mailing list and you get the Chambra magazine delivered to your desktop every month. And I'm, I'm really proud of it. It's a, it's a great magazine. We, um, Mark Ritter and Gene Tinder both do a great job putting it together and great guest articles. So we have that home free program. Well, the home free program. You know, we came up with, because we realized so many Chambre were sitting at home. Stuck. <laughs> and it really for, what has it been now, a month or, oh, or yeah, something yeah. like that? Yeah, Stuck yeah. at home. And we thought, what a great time to catch up on Crimson Circle materials. And also just because of the economic impact of so much of what's going on. We said, you know, every week, let's have a free product that uh, that we send out. Normally we charge for, but uh, we've done this now for about three weeks mm -hmm. and we have a couple more. Uh, the check our weekly free products through May 15th. Uh, we've had some great ones, some old uh, Kathumi ones, uh, the one about the conspiracies uh, yeah, was yeah. really uh, humorous and entertaining. And we've had quite a few. So we're doing this through May 15th and we call it the home free because your home and the products are free. So please enjoy. Oh, oh. and next, yeah, we're kind of really excited about this next one. Linda, why don't we, you tell everybody we are, what it is? The next Master's Life is about pathways to realization. And you can imagine how meaningful that is to all of us right now at this particular time. Absolutely, we filmed the uh, Master's Life 12 right here in Kona while we've been here during yeah, our stay. a few weeks ago. Uh, Adamus chose the topic, Pathways to Realization. And what he's saying is that there's many pathways to realization. It's not just a spiritual thing. He said it doesn't have to be spiritual at all. So in the six sessions that he goes through, he talks about the many different ways, including the not recommended ways. Those were pretty intense. Those were good. Yeah. And then the more recommended ways. But um, for instance, one of the pathways could be technology. Uh, and he explains how that works and why it works. And this was such a revelation to me because I always thought that realization, enlightenment, was a spiritual thing. But he changes the whole perspective. and That's, who, that's what he does. He, that's what he does. And I've never heard anyone talk no. uh, about this in the terms that he talks right. about it. What it really does is gives you such a better insight or perspective of your own realization and I, I think all of us uh, most of us have always thought it was a spiritual thing and we tried to be more spiritual well that bit, always traditionally when you heard people talk about it there were some sort of rules and certain things you had to do and Adamus is very clear it doesn't work like that yeah 
So it's brand new. It just came out earlier this week. Uh, Master's Life 12 Pathways to Realization. You have 90 days access to the video and the text, and it's $145 through June 20, or I'm sorry, through July 28th. Let's take a look at Master's Life 12, the recap. That I am, Adamus of Sovereign Domain. Welcome to Master's Life 12, Pathways to Realization. This Pathways to Realization, Master's Life 12, is really to help you understand that there's more than one way to realization. People commonly think that realization is a, a spiritual phenomena, an occurrence, but there are many, many ways to realization. Now, I prefer to use the term realization rather than some of the other terms like um, ascension or enlightenment. I prefer the term realization because that's what happens. You realize and you remember who you are, what you're doing here. I'd like to talk about some of the not so recommended ways of doing it. These methods are actually uh, for those who have gone through awakening, and these are from actual, actual case examples of some of the ascended masters. So let's begin with the first one torture. And along with that, pain, just excessive physical pain, exhaustion, trauma. We do have quite a few of the Ascended Masters that did it with drugs, insanity, starvation, suicide. Let's talk about some of, the, um, some of these side roads, dead ends and stepping stones. Let's start out with the first one, studying your way into realization. The second one that ties into it pretty closely is philosophy, discipline, denial, power, wealth, gurus, kind of in that same category. Angels, prayer, religion, meditation, groups, aliens, lovers. Next, and it ties into it, uh, suffering. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the ways that the Ascended Masters, the Interdimensional Association of Ascended Masters, has done realization and ways for you to do it. First on the list is nature, creativity. Physics, technology, impending death, the one that's probably most common, most used, spirituality. And then the next one on the list is loving self. And there's one more on the list, and that one last thing is allowing. Let's take a deep breath, feeling into your pathway to realization. How have you been doing realization up to now? What's your pathway like? How much self-love is there on your pathway? You tried so hard to love yourself and it seems sometimes uh, you just keep falling in that hole. Going back to loathing and Trying to pick yourself up. How about just receiving forgiveness from the I am for all your guilt and shame, just getting over it, 
just going beyond and loving yourself. Let's take a deep breath. Feeling into your pathway into realization. How many lifetimes has it been on that pathway? And more than anything, are you ready now? Are you ready now? So we really hope you have a chance to do Master's Life 12 Pathways to Realization. It's available now, $145 through July 28th. In the Crimson Circle store. I really like, I, I like all the Master's Life. And you know, Master's Life is really, that whole series is really kind of the documentation mm -hmm. of Chambra's coming to realization. Right. Uh, and, I, and I just love it. And this new one. I, I love them all, but this new one just did something for me. I mean, it really turned something within me in a good way. Um, I think it's some of your old history. Oh, I do too. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so bye-bye having to do it the spiritual way. And I'm very excited once again to be able to say Journey of the Angels update. It's available, and it is incredible. It went way beyond what people anticipated. Mm. Adamus's contributions way beyond and and it it's really new and changing material that he's added to it you know there's a whole different perspective uh, especially now with everything going on about right. this journey of the angels then you combine it with all the information that Thomas has given us recently about the order of the ark being disbanded uh, and the angelic families being disbanded and everything else going on and it gives you such an insight. Absolutely. Uh, I loved the additions that Adamus did to it. They were way bigger than I thought they well, were. Well, I'm always a little nervous. You know, is Adamus just going to, uh, is it going to be congruent with what Tobias did? A and it always is. It right. really adds on to it. So uh, that's now available. There's 10 sessions total, both with Tobias and Adamus. You have 90 days access to the video and the e-reader. It's available in the Crimson Circle store. Uh, it's it it's actually, beautiful metaphoric s presentation about who we are, how we got here. Absolutely. So uh, check it out, Journey of the Angels, the update. Uh, the other thing that we did recently here, once this whole, uh, just as the coronavirus thing uh, re really began to break out, uh, we recorded a special session with Adamus. It's free of charge, and it's called Convergence, a historic message for Chambra. And in it, Adamus explains the coronavirus. He explains the convergence of all these things happening, what we just talked about mm -hmm. with Journey of the Angels, at this remarkable time in history. Uh, we really recommend that you, uh, it's almost a must-see message for Agreed. Chambra, featuring Adamus and some really great, incredible channels. It's available in the Crimson Circle store or on YouTube, and it's free of charge. But we, we bring it up again uh, even though we brought it up last month, but it's just so important. You could share it with others, but they might not have any idea because it is so, sh it's all about Chambra. One of the other things that happened in the last month or so, as we were uh, going through the whole coronavirus thing and working on some projects, is we went back into Pronost 2014. Uh, this was the first Pronost we ever did. And we went back into it and realized there was some remarkable information in there. I mean, almost uh, prophetic information in there. And we've re-released that to Chambra because the information is so good, uh, it, it even shocked and amazed us. You know what, what I vaguely remember, because I blocked it out, I think, when, it, when that message was given way back then, it was just like, it was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. And like, okay. And then, and then we just kind of pushed it off. And then it's like, oh, wait, it was there. It was always there. It's really probably more relevant than ever. And that's Absolutely. why we re released it. Uh, it includes Adama's channels from the Pronos 2014 and 2014 update. update. Uh, there's six sessions. We reduced the price to $75. And going through it, you'll realize. It's happening right now. Truly. I mean, what was talked about six years ago is happening right now. 
So let's take a quick look at the Pronos 2014 update. I am that I am, clearly a Damas of sovereign domain. Welcome to this gathering. Welcome to Pronost. Do you realize how many lifetimes of rehearsal you've gone through? I've been learning a lot, experiencing a lot, but rehearsing for this. Do you realize how much of your dream state in these last few years has been consumed, spent with getting ready for this. This is it, my dear friends. This is it. These are no longer idle promises or idle threats. This is it. That's why you're here. This is the time for the greatest change that you will ever experience on this planet of all the times past. That's the good news. That's the good news. <laughs> We're going beyond the awakening. We're going beyond the past lives. We're going beyond the ancestral, biological, and karmic connections. We're going beyond all of that. There's no room in the work, at least of the Crimson Circle, for those who are still playing the victim, for those who are still in the old energy game. There's no room for those who are still playing with awakening. It's time for the masters, the embodied masters, to step forward. I ask you, implore you, beg you uh, to start putting consciousness into everything. You get into doubt, fear, lack, or anything else. Take a deep breath. Allow. Put consciousness into it. Even if you're just, uh, just feeling like putting a great big C into the equation, the C for consciousness, it will change the nature of reality. It changes the alignment of energy and how it comes in to serve you. And what the hell's going on with this planet? It is about, a very old subject of mine, a subject I'll keep coming back to, freedom and power. Basically, this planet was created through this uh, act of the order of uh, the Ark, about freedom. Freedom for every souled being in creation, and no, they're not free. Freedom is taking responsibility. Freedom is the sovereignty. Freedom is, is absolute energy independence. Because everything, all the energies, already comes from here. But when people believe, when other beings believe, that they have to get it from somewhere else. It creates a lot of turmoil. So we come to the next point on here, power. Power is the accumulation and manipulation of energies. This planet and many other realities are based on power. Your spiritual families were based on power, that power game. Step out of power. It's an absolute illusion. You have everything you need within you. Because con add C, add consciousness back into the equation. Consciousness brings in the energy, brings in your energy. There's a convergence going on in this planet right now. It's a convergence of many, 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 many different elements. You can handle a crisis, but geez, if the next one comes up uh, three days later. And then another one, and then another one, and they're coming from every different direction. What do you do? You collapse. What do you do this time? Consciousness. What about consciousness? Absolutely. Put C into the equation. What about consciousness? It changes everything. How is it going to manifest? You're going to see it in uh, financial. It has to be. Earth changes and weather. Why? Because there is a clearing going on. You're going to have winds to clear things, and fires, and, and floods, and they're going to clear things. Your fuel energy, it's going to, it's going to be a problem, uh, but not for you. You're going to have a lot of civil unrest. It doesn't mean it has to affect you. Virus. Virus. Going to happen on this planet. In the next few years, there will be a 
uncontrol mostly uncontrollable virus, whether it's um, uh, whether it's something like a cold or flu, and I won't have the solution. A virus has to happen. A virus is a type of clearing. A virus is designed to rebalance. A virus stems from a physical virus stems from the very thing that we call a sexual energy virus, which is a virus of the consciousness. That virus of consciousness that is so high on this planet at this time is going to then show up or manifest as a physical virus. When you wonder, oh my gosh, oh, and, and some of you had that uh, unfortunate situation in past lives where you had the, you know, the epidemics going around. You think with modern science that it's going to know how to handle it, but it won't. It's going to be very confused and confounded. It's going to go very, very fast, spreading fast. What do you do? That's right. Add consciousness to the equation. Uh, mental. And just put mental. That is going to include anxiety, depression, suicide, uh, confusion, and everything else. Uh -oh. It's a huge issue on the planet right now. The Lords of Light, the Elohim, who are they? They are amazing beings. I'm not talking about all of them, but most of them. Archangels, the Lords of Light, these grand beings, they are you. You kind of got together and said, let's take the best of the best and let's put it together and let's make a, a Lord of Light. Let's make a master being. Let's put these out there uh, for future reference and let's call upon them at time of need. Let's use them as standards. Let's use them as the templates for our light body, for our embodied mastery. And we're also excited to announce the new ancestral freedom. It, you know how valuable we've always talked about that being core material, and, and we all can so relate to it. And now we've got updates. Yeah, we did an update recently with Damas. Uh, actually, ancestral freedom is also what we consider one of the core classes. Right. It talks about releasing the the connection the, uh, with the ancestors, right. which really is what shapes our DNA and our thoughts and everything else. Now, it's not about leaving your family. It's about saying, dear ancestors, dear family, thank you so much, but now I'm going to be bringing in my own sovereignty, my right. own light body, my own uh, consciousness. And it, it was profound when we did it. Well, we updated it here uh, about a month or so ago in Kona with another session with Adamas that really was over the top. And uh, so we're calling this the Ancestral Freedom Update. And be clear, I mean, there were a couple of people that got concerned, but be clear, it's, it's not about just cutting off your family, it's about freeing yourself. Absolutely. Uh, it's available in the Crimson Circle store, and there are a lot of translations. A lot. So, let's take a good deep breath and a mm. big, ah. I think, I think a lot of us have had those ah moments, having to spend more time at home. I, I know I have. Mm -hmm. You know, things just slowed down a lot. But on the other hand, there was kind of a craziness, wondering about what's going to be happening in the world. So much beyond what our control. Yeah, one moment I was just happy to be here and kind of have a little different schedule. I've been doing a lot of yard work and just a lot of time. But on the other hand, I'm like, what's going to happen next? Well, interestingly, that we did a new master's pause right here so in Kona. So timely. Very timely. It's called I Am Calm. Oh. I am calm. You know, these Master's Pause series, uh, what was actually Adamus' creation, said, you know, as we're coming into our realization, we need to every once in a while just stop and take a pause because there's so much going on right now. I think this is the f maybe the fifth in the Master's Pause series. They're really beautiful. It's like a long mirab. They're about an hour long. Adamus talks for a right. little bit, and then we go into some music and a kind of a soft, gentle Adamus. And there, uh, we have I am sleeping. sleeping. Yeah, I remember that one. Uh, I am joy, a few others. But this one is so timely, as you say, I am calm. calm. 
Yeah, and you know, I like that Adama specifically said that when he cr creates these, he it's always he's taking a measure on us, and he says, "What is it that people, what is it that that this group really would would benefit mm. from?" So it, it, it's a measure of us. So I am calm was recorded right here in Kona at the new Shamba Pavilion. Let's take a look at a recap of I am calm. Take a good deep breath and feel into how you feel. Feel into yourself right now. How are you feeling? What's going on? Well, if you're here, it's probably because things are a little chaotic. And rightfully so. So much going on in your life. So many changes taking place in your body, your mind. And on top of that, all the energies and the world around you, outside of you, are, well, they're a little crazy right now. You're feeling this because you're sensitive, but it's really not yours. It's something very appropriate happening on the planet right now. You have everything you need right now for your own calmness, for your own happiness and stability, everything you need. You're on the path that you chose. Take a good deep breath and relax into it. And calmness isn't something you work at, you just allow. You just choose and allow. Let your future come in right now, and it's here in the now, but let it be in your presence, in your consciousness, to share with you what that part of you, that thing that's already in your energy, already knows. Let it come in and tell you, in its own words, not, not me telling you, but let the realized, abundant, healthy future come in right now. Breathe it into your body into your mind, in, into this exact moment. And hear what the future has to say now. You can feel it now, even in your body. You can feel that calmness as the mind settles down, as the mind has the reassurance from the future, which is right now. Then the body settles down and all the energies that have got stuck in the body, they calm down. I can smile about it. I can smile looking at what's happening on earth right now, actually kind of joyful. It means something is changing. You're not going to put yourself, you're not going to put yourself in harm's way. You're not going to put yourself in, in uh, jeopardy in all this. So take a deep breath into the I am calm. Take a deep breath. You've got all the tools, everything needed. I am calm. X marks the spot. X for Keyhawk 10. 
Can you believe that's it's a been landmark? Ten years of doing Kihak. It's I, amazing. I can and I can't because it goes so forward, so fast, and it so does. expanded. It keeps expanding. That no, I can't believe that it's back. There's that many that back because I'm. Kihak is a special one-year program with the Damas. Uh, we do two sessions per month. Uh, it's really fun to do. You and I do it from literally all over the world. We've literally done it for, with the view of the pyramids in Egypt. We've yeah. Everywhere in the world. And I'm thinking we've probably done, uh, well, a lot of them right here in Kona we now. Have. We uh, have. As now. well as from our house in Colorado. But uh, Kihak is that one-year program. There are two sessions per month with the Damas. And then also there's a thing called Living in Kihak. It's a show with Dr. Doug Davis and Linda, of course. And they kind of do a recap and a summary. You do kind of a human perspective because sometimes the concepts that Adamus talks about are really over the top. But uh, living in Kihak, you guys do a nice recap and kind of humanize everything. Well, you know, it, it's we talk about that. You know, the other day when I listened to the Kihak, it was just I I just couldn't do anything but be straight up listening so intensely. And then other times I'll get the recording going and get the breathing going and Adama starts talking and boom it just knocks me out I'm just way out there so uh, what I love about Kihak is everybody repeatedly tells us they have their own mm. personal journey you listen to it in your safe space and and it's there to to on, on their full year journey of support let's take a quick look at this uh, little thing we put together for Kihak 10 Kihakers always tell us how the messages are so personal for them, like Adamus is talking just to them. The messages are always tailored to where we are right now. And that's what I love about Kihak, the highly personal nature, like Adamus is with you all of the time. I love these sessions. I actually need these sessions, given everything that's happening in the world right now, and with my own coming to realization. Kihak has developed into a community, with Kihakers connecting with each other in the House of Kihak social media group, but also in the workshops and live events. There's a strong bond with Kihakers because they're going through similar intense experiences. It's the best of the best of Chambra. When Adamus introduced Kihak 10 years ago, I think he knew perfectly well that it would evolve into a core group that would take the deep dive culminating right now at the time of machines. I'm looking forward to this next year of Kihak. Kihak 10. Now more than ever. Oh, and by the way, this year we have a special discount. With all the craziness going on, we decided we would, would make a special version price this year. Uh, we have a discount for those of you who are new. And by the way, you don't need to have uh, been in previous Kihak sessions. You can jump right in now. Uh, some people have been in uh, eight or nine of them, yep, yep. Uh, but uh, you don't have to be. We have special discounts going on, and we have a payment plan. So I think it's over six payments if you want, or you could pay it all right away. But 
it's Kihak is one of the most special things that Linda and I do with Crimson Circle it's and with Chambra. Favorite. We love it, and this is a place where Adamus really brings out new stuff, new things for Chambra. Eventually, everything kind of goes to the shouds and uh, for all Chambra, but he it's brings it same. out here, and there's such a depth to it, it, it such it, a beauty and a depth. A depth and a focus that is just remarkable, and there is nothing like it. it, it you told me there, there was only one thing we could do from now on with the Dumps. For me, it would be Kihak. It's so incredible. Kihak has grown so much over the years. We now have eight different language translations for Kihak. Uh, usually, the translators have the uh, translations ready within about a week after the original Kihak session. And uh, this year, we have it in English, French, German. Japanese, Korean, Romanian, Russian, and Spanish. So, uh, Kihak uh, is really truly for everyone. So, registration is open. It'll stay open through June 15th. So, if you're interested in Kihak 10, it's kind of a landmark year for Kihak. Absolutely. If you're interested, uh, please register by June 15th. Good. All right, we've covered a lot here today. We hope you've enjoyed uh, being with us here in Kona. We hope you can hear the birds singing in the background and feel the beauty of nature all around us. But before we take our break, one important thing. We always want to give our thanks to the translators, the web hosts, the Crimson Circle Angels. You make things uh, amazingly wonderful for us to create. And all the volunteers, there are so many, it, it's beyond words and, and it's humbling. So thank you to everyone and thank you to everyone listening as well, as well as our crew producing this. So you're used to seeing Linda and I on camera, of course, but it's so important to recognize there's so much going on behind the scenes. Always. We have the Crimson Circle team, uh, the, the regular staff, and as Linda mentioned, the amazing translators and the web hosts, the angels, the volunteers. It really takes a whole community to make this work, and we thank all of you for that. So right now I think it's time to have some more Kona coffee. We're going to be taking a break, and we're going to be back here with you in about 30 minutes for more with Adama St. Germain. It's the Passion 2020 series, Shoud Number 9. Are you ready? I hope so. Okay. We'll be back in just a bit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 